Today, Hurricane Ian was taking aim at Southwest Florida, and mandatory evacuations were underway. Meteorologist Lance Blocker has a look back at that major storm and how this hurricane season has shaped up so far. From the beginning, forecasters were very concerned about Hurricane Ian. After making landfall in Cuba, it reemerged over the warm waters of the Gulf of Mexico and then underwent an enhanced period of rapid intensification. Ian would become a particularly dangerous Category 4 hurricane just prior to landfall near Lee County, Florida. In its wake, Ian killed over 50 people and caused catastrophic damage to homes, businesses, and infrastructure. Ian also forced several school systems to remain closed for over two weeks. Thankfully, Hurricane Ian is long gone. In fact, Ian as a hurricane name is likely gone too. A storm name is retired if it is considered so deadly or costly that the future use of its name on a different storm would be inappropriate for obvious reasons of sensitivity. Meteorologists expect this decision to be unanimous and Ian will be removed from contention for future storm names. We are five weeks away from the end of the 2022 hurricane season and additional tropical development can occur. But let's take a look at where we are at this point in the season so far. The start of the season was one of the busiest on record. From June 1st through July 4th, three tropical storms developed. Then Saharan dust and elevated wind shear turned off the Atlantic Basin, and for the first time in 25 years, we got to the entire month of August without a single named storm. However, September and early October would make up for lost time. At least one named storm developed each week from September 1st through October 11th. That puts us with 11 named storms on the season, including five hurricanes. While that is on par with an average season, the good news is that number is far below expectations on the year as a whole. Let's hope that that trend continues and we stay quiet as we close out the final five weeks of the season. For CBS 17 News, I'm meteorologist Lance Blocker.